All right. A lot of stuff happened, guys. World War Three came and went. We got the coronavirus now, which is a uh, work from home attire. This is the official uh, Skype call attire. Most of the Zoom calls that we've been having. Credit goes out to Calvin. Anyways, we're ready for our 18,000 foot flights. Here's what we did. Where we left off last time, we threw the airplane off the balcony, off the rooftop, and the airplane glided by itself. Great stuff. Shout out Ardu plane. What wasn't happening was the release mechanism wasn't working fine. So the airplane would constantly tilt off axis. It wouldn't cut at the right time. Everything was horribly made. And over the last three months during the testings, I've soldered, resoldered, reconnected everything. I don't know. So we'll, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. I had four zip ties around the corners and then a nichrome wire in the center. I would send a fishing line through the zip tie and then hook it around the nichrome wire and then bring it back out to the other corner. And then I would do this for all four corners of the zip ties. Because fishing lines can be in tension but they can't be in compression. If I put them on all four corners they're always in tension and this doesn't allow for any rotation. And then once we got to the predetermined height that we wanted to release at, the, fish, the nichrome wire would heat up and it would cut through all the nichrome wire releasing the aircraft. Now this was grossly non-renewable. I hated it. I felt bad for all the fishies out there. I also did abuse tests because I wanted to see if this could, you know, it's, it's gonna be windy up there when we're carrying this up. So, and I don't want the airplane to, the zip ties to break off or I don't want the fishing line. Also the fishing line is 50 pound draw, so. And I did repeated tests to make sure that this was reliable. I did three tests back to back to back to back and it all worked. And keep in mind, during these during these tests, I'm, I'm trying to reuse fishing lines as much as possible. It's so horrible, so much waste of like not. So now that that was done, the next thing left to do was to build the hexacopter that would tow the drone up to our launch altitude. I also met Caleb. Uh, Caleb, Caleb was a pretty nice guy. I'd always want a drone. Right, really? Yeah. We also talked about Caleb's philosophies in life. Like, like, my end goal in life is just trying to be a good person. Right. Um. I think Caleb brought me some good luck because the first test that I did after fixing the motor directions and it took off like a rock. So stable, no wobbling, no nothing. And then right after that, I installed the tether that would be carrying the glider onto the arms of the hexacopter. Uh, listen, this was done in good faith because I wanted to spread the force around, you know, spread the weight of the glider around on the hexacopter. But the first flight that I did, the first time I took off, the glider was wobbling around, the hexacopter was wobbling around, it, it wasn't the move. A couple of hypotheses came out, but at the end, I installed the tethers onto the arms, so when the drone would wobble it around, it would pull an arm down. So because of this, there was a lot of instability issues. I'm glad we got the hexacopter down in one piece, to be honest with you guys. And then you know what I did, man? I put the tether onto the center of the hexacopter, I put a 1.3, 1.5 kilogram weight under there, and then boom, I did robustness tests. That's real engineering. Who do you know that does that? Who do you know? Boeing? Get out of my face, man. Real engineering. So it's flight test day. Okay, all right. We're about ready to get flying. Basically everything's ready. We've done flights. We've made sure that the airplane can fly itself. We've made sure it can glide. We've made sure it releases just fine. Everything is set. So it's time to go. We're gonna do a first test run right quick. But otherwise everything looks good cables great that we have radio we have two radios right now I can throw that into loiter mode if anything goes wrong and it'll just stay all good okay, strings are good This this worries me a little bit that that's not under tension. Okay, we'll be okay check video. Let's check video and we have video That's a, that's a pretty nice angle. Honestly, it's a long time coming man. We're set Okay, here's the plan we're gonna go 75 meters up vertically. Airplane's gonna go forward, turn right, turn right, turn right, and then it's gonna go straight. I have radio here. If anything goes wrong, I can grab control. Uh, this I can throw into loiter or return to launch and have it land by itself. We're pretty well prepared. Okay, all right, we're good. Let's start flying. To just counting my blessings, looking for how to I want to be better, man. One, two, just counting my blessings, looking for how, how. 
why she gotta go why she never stay on a cold day she left in the autumn with the rain and it rained from her eyes behind them it was cloudy you can't read the stars you don't know nothing about me we change people change and i struggle to accept that living in the past having trouble with these setbacks video looks good everything looks good oh there we go they released go pull up bro Oh, man. Trying to clean myself up, even wipe my shoes off on mass that say Oh no That's how you get humbled man That's how you get humbled Oh we were ready I had two I had two remote controllers I had everything I was prepared nah That's how you get humbled Alright so what happened? Okay so the airplane cut the plane off, it went nose down and just dived. Not the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> okay, whatever you say my guy. On the Wi-Fi side at least, everything looked like it went fine. But the only thing that saved this airframe, the whole way down it was diving. Five meters before it hit the ground, it started fluttering and then phew, this This thing snapped, pitched up and kind of just floated on down. This thing, man, this is what made, this is this is what I'm most sad about, I think. Let's get real for a second, right? What's your automatic response to almost crashing? You know, what's your automatic, you put the throttle all the way down, right? So when I was piloting the, the hex, I put the throttle all the way down, and then I was like, oh wait, no, I can't do that. I put the throttle up, and immediately, all the strings just wrapped around the motors. I'm surprised only one of the arms broke or whatever. We took an L today, boys. We took an L today. But we'll be we'll be back. We'll be back. You know that. We'll be back. What was that? Okay. And this is the night before another test flight day. Alright, so I'm not going to break down the entire CSI of looking through the logs and whatnot, but long story short, the Ardu plane, it gets confused when it's at negative 90 degrees for too long. So to circumvent this, I had the aircraft at a negative 20 degrees angle of attack on the tether, so when it got cut, it would be able to generate airspeed fast enough without stalling out. Oh god, this is bad. What? I forgot to take the <laughs> Oh, I told you it's sloppy. That's how I am, man. That's how I work. Because that should be how you work, bro. Just have everything in like one place. I didn't know why didn't I just think of that? Just have everything yeah. in one place. Yeah. Why, why 22 you... years of my life, why could I never come up with that? Okay, there's a big hole right here, but we're not, we don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, we don't care, bro. Yeah, bro, we don't. This pops like right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the greatest idea. It's good. That's good. Do that. One, two, three. Okay, that hit the tree, but it works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras for the ca there you go. It works. It, it works, works, guys. <laughs> Look at it. It, it works. works. See I that? Even, I don't even know if the camera saw that. Are the cops coming here? They just we're ready. No, it's like I know he's laughing, but no, we're ready. Okay, we're ready. So here's. <laughs> Swipe in the direction this drone's gonna go. Down. <laughs> Dude, connect. I don't like Xbox. <laughs> no, not there Xbox. You got, you got Look at this man with two fucking double fisting <laughs> Tenaris's right. <laughs> got to show the rest of this video it, the, the plane is backwards the plane is flying backwards let's look at the onboard footage look Kemal said that this was a fear of his over Twitter he said what if they don't all cut at the same time and look they didn't all cut at the same time and this led to a very improper launch so we looked at the footage I recognize that this was a problem every time man there's the battery <laughs> Woo! self ejecting battery oh man oh look at that Ah, oh, nothing. There's nothing. We can fly. Can we fly it today? Can we fly it again today? Fly right now. We can fly it again today. Hold up. Airframe wasn't really that damaged. Screw it. Send it again. We're, we're sending it. Last goal, our, our final goal, 
which is to get an automated flight and that's this next flight I'm gonna have completely hands off and hope for the best Meanwhile, and thankfully that, that flight went well, but you still have to understand that this was completely luck. This is not reliable, it, conditions were just right, and that's that's the reason. So. I revamped the release system once again. I really think I hit gold with this one because there's four permanent strings on the four corners and then there's only one fishing line in the center. So when the Necro wire cuts the fishing line, it releases all of them at the same time. And then I did two more tests at the Nova parking lot. Both tests went successfully. The, the release mechanism never binded up. It always worked fine and it always managed to pull up right after. And what's there left after this than to send it again, man? And you have to understand, man, there's a, there's a lot going into this right now. A whole lot of overdrafted bank account statements, a whole lot of messing around on Twitter, a whole lot of... All right, all right, let's, let's just get on to the test. Let's just get on. <laughs> let's just get on. Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. Hey. I can't even ever buy the... They never wear a condom, but I'm fucking in the atom like it's summer. Don't condone it now. I'm drunk and don't condone it. So they 12 piece nugget from McDonald's. Cup of folders on me, helping me chug it. I can't even never buy the... Never take a shower, spit a powder in my nose and charge a party by the hour. Hot headed night, medicated for the moment. Cold blooded night, turn on dread the day I see the morning. And it's like this sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like my dumb rhymes, well, well, well. well. Feel it back like one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't rap, they tongue tied. True, true, true. And it's like this sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really it man thank you to everyone who's kept up i want to give a quick little shout out thank you very much come on of course salute from here brian imran and rabdu rahman both three ugly people in there and also shout out dv2 y'all know who you are there's way too many mechanical engineers in that group i want to give a quick shout out to dr alberts as well he let me use the hexacopter to do all the toe testing and whatnot that's his hexacopter man man's trust me with it so thank you dr alberts dr landman Great guy in general, uh, UAV lab director, that's my director, Dr. Lemon. This summer, we're aiming for our 18,000 foot flight tests. We do want to go for 100,000 feet, but again, we're at the mercy of the FAA right now. For this summer, midsummer, we're aiming for. I'm gonna take a road trip out to Nevada, meet up with Kemal. Here's the, here's the thing about the 18,000 feet. That's, from what I remember, that's class G airspace. It's easier to get restrictions and waivers for that. To work with the FAA, I air, the definition for an unmanned aircraft is sustained flight, but what does sustained flight mean? You know, We don't know if we fall under part 101, we don't know if we fall under part 107. So we're gonna talk with the FAA, we're gonna try to get that figured out. But at the end of the day, regulations aside, my number one concern is safety. People do parachute balloon launches all the time and they end up fine but you know and this isn't this isn't really that different i'm also going to try to get a pixhawk with an adsb receiver so real airplanes they have adsb and it 
basically sends out a signal that tells our aircraft where all the other aircrafts in the nearby airspace is, their GPS location, their speed, their heading, their altitude, so on and so forth, and Pixhawk can use this to, you know, dodge aircraft. Beautiful stuff. Because of that, we're also looking for sponsors. I'm a college student, man. I donated enough of my time to this and I don't have money to donate, obviously. We're looking for sponsors for travel. I'm gonna take a road trip, but Shell, if you wanna pay for my gas, my <laughs> my car does 20 miles per gallon premium gas. So Shell, if you if you wanna hit us up real quick. I'm looking for Airbnb, damn, like Airbnb, if you wanna, if you want to talk real quick, even Motel Motel 8 or something, Motel 6, just, just a place where I can put my head on. You know, anyone that wants to sponsor us, anyone that wants to throw a little help our way, much, much appreciated, including the airframe. Right now, the airframe is built out of Dollar Tree foam board. I wanted to build it out of EPP, but my lab, the lab that I worked in, it got shut down because of the, you know, the coronavirus situation. Uh, so I can't, I can't. Either way, man, thank you guys so much for keeping up. Oh, last thing. Um, I'm still gonna be doing test flights and whatnot with this. I don't know. It's pretty. It's pretty cool to do with, and I'm gonna try to. So they'll still be on the channel if I do more test flights, and I have a bunch of ideas, bunch of projects lined up for the summer that I want. That I want to do. Just, just keep up with the channel, man. Hit hit the subscribe button. I know you. It's a mental barrier. You just gotta get over it. You see the subscribe? Just hit it. You know what? No, hit the dislike button. I don't, I don't care. Make this video get 300 dislikes. I hate this video. I worked on it for two days straight, you know what I mean? I only came out of my room to drink coffee with my mom. Shout out my mom.